hello there welcome into the channel thank you so much for being here and i do hope you're well in this time this is sage sunset healing tarot and i really do appreciate you being here with me sharing this time space and collective energy so we're going to be taking some general look at a general look at some messages for you cancerian so these are general messages so they may not all apply to all of you so take the ones that do apply and the rest, let them fly. I also want to say thank you so much for supporting the channel by liking, sharing, and subscribing. Your support is abundantly appreciated. Now let us get started. Someone may be coming around to your home or they're coming around to your wedding or when you're about to, this could be a business partnership as well. So maybe someone wants to align with you in business. This person is water energy, so I feel like they're coming with expressions of love to you. I want to say this person, they feel like they've, they, they're bringing some balance with the justice energy here. All right, like they're going to correct something by give, maybe giving you some advice or information that they feel will like fill some missing area in your life like they're going to give you some information but truly they feel like it is valuable information i do want to say that they could be thinking that it's valuable so that they can come around to you now for some of you this person may be offering you or maybe proposing to you what is that eating honestly eating something i'm getting the energy of eating a raw fish like literally a fish like taking the fish out of the ocean because it's in the cup here and eating it raw uncooked you know the energy of smeagol um, when you saw in, in Lord of the Rings, Smeagol took the fish out of the water and just bit into it. And you hear that crunch of raw flesh and bones. Yeah, that's the energy I'm feeling right now. I don't know what that means. Eating the fish raw. Okay. All right. 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 So you may have received this proposal that this person may have offered to you and you're examining it. You're saying, okay, let me see how I feel. But I do feel like at the end of the day, you're, you're going to get married to this person. All right. So water sign moved away from, and this is maybe current energy. There's a, maybe a separation here, water sign, earth sign. Or this is between spirituality and physicality. But maybe one person is, is not paying attention. I feel cancerian, this is you. To uh, maybe physicality right now or a particular earth sign. Or maybe you have wealth and abundance and freedom and liberty on your mind. That is what you're working for. I feel like that is what is this a spirit and essence that is propelling you. So I feel like you're 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 focusing now on manifesting with the magic magician energy. What you're manifesting is your nine of pentacles energy, which is your supreme power, your empowerment your wealth your financial independence this is the stage where you want to get queen of pentacle pentacles which is liberation financially like complete freedom like the ones of money is not here anymore you want to be on top of that and i feel like it's so you feel contentment spiritually to serve or to be who you are So, so I like, yeah, mm -hmm. so, and I say the two of cups is saying there's a union here. So for some of you, the your past person wants to come back and make amends with the justice energy. This person may be showing up at your house, like I say, or your place of work, or almost as if they're going to show up just as, a, as you're about to cross a finish line or enter through a gate, you know? And maybe just as soon as, as you're about to really close the door on them, they're, they want to put their foot in, show up and say, let's, let's eat raw fish together. Maybe let's do this. Let's do something together that you and this person used to do. But I feel like you've outgrown that now. Okay. 
Um, so maybe you're changing your diet from eating. I don't know. Let's continue. Because that could mean anything. You know, maybe this person wants you to do something with them that you used to do or something that you've always wanted to do with this person. They feel like now they have the time to give to you. Maybe this person was always busy with work and they weren't able to connect with you emotionally, so on and so forth. Now they're coming and saying, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm ready to make this balanced. But it's almost as if they're forgetting what they've done. Are they forgetting that you two have emotions, that you weren't just sitting around waiting for them to make things right as if they just the energy feels like they thought you were you were waiting or you just be willing to accept that they are ready now um as if you have nothing to do with your life i don't know but um so past energy a union that may have led to separation maybe someone went leave left was single alone not communicating emotionally now this person which i feel is you can Syrian, is open to a new love vibration with the ace of cups i feel like you're putting this past union behind you probably cutting the cords divorcing denying blocking maybe this is what someone did to you first they did denied you blocked you rejected you ignored you and so on and so forth and told you hey listen i have to be focused on work which could be this same person here now they want to give you the time i know your back is turned to them and they're thinking of these times when you guys were together and they're looking at you i feel like this person is also watching you thinking of how i feel like they think what are they watching you and thinking maybe i will get back to that but as you are here now, I feel like you're ready to start dating again. That's the energy. I don't feel like you're ready to fall in love, but it's like you're saying, okay, let me maybe, you know, like open up a little bit more or something like that with Ace of Cups. Because you see, see, you have one hand open here, one blocking, because you're like, I'm going to ask you some questions first. You know, I hope you know that. And I'm going to have to get to know you first. You know, you're not really fully open, but you're open. And it's a wonderful, wonderful place to be. I feel like when you are this cancer, you, you're going to meet someone who is like a match for you. And don't be afraid to speak a truth and to be who you are, to ask questions. You know, let it just let it be known right off the bat if you're really considering dating. I also want to say I feel like cancer have something hiding okay and what you have hiding is your ability to create wealth i feel like it's as if you have gold buried beneath your house <laughs> and you don't like no one else knows or it is an elixir or it's a portal that helps you to find your dream come true. It's a portal maybe about money or abundance or of manifestation. Maybe you write. Maybe you know how to write to manifest what you want. But it, maybe I'm saying it's something you're hiding. It does feel like you have it in a basement somewhere. And you just go there whenever you feel this, this need to use this magic or this thing that you're hiding. I don't know if you need to bring it up to the world, but I feel like you're hiding it. It could be a gift, hmm. an inheritance, something that you've been blessed with. Or it could be your destiny, your mission, what you really want in life. Maybe you're not telling people what you are working on. You're blocking, hiding. Um, I feel like you want to trust people first before you start sharing yourself but you are welcoming new love and i feel like this there is a new love coming toward you ace of cups vibration and it's heavenly truly you know it's heavenly and this person feels quite independent knows their stuff knows their connection to the divine as well so i feel like this person will teach you a lot and they will learn from you as well. And you're not even going to try to teach this person, but they're going to learn just from you. And I mean just from purely you, your essence, they will learn from. 
here maybe that's what this person is what that's why your past person was addicted to you that's what i heard off of the top of the tip of my tongue or obsessed with you or that's why they, it's like wanting to keep their tongues stuck to hunt to the honeycomb kind of vibration it's so sweet um that's why they watch you um so yeah when they look at you it's like they just it's like magnetism honestly and it's sticky like literally like honey to honeycomb honey a tongue on anywho that's how they watch you it's like very close to as if they just want to be in your essence they just want to have that taste of you on their tongue at all times um and that's metaphoric that could be metaphorical or you know not uh and your beauty too it's almost like like something about your smile as well even though she's not smiling here or just your joy perhaps yes a joy or a light that is in you i do feel like this person is somehow amazed or somewhat amazed by your light here your radiance your grace just your feeling of as if the sun really does shine out of you this person wonders at you often like sometimes they just look at you and wonder how you can be so radiant or so happy or so light you know i don't feel like this person sees a lot of burden in you even though you may do you may have burden they look at you and they feel like you don't have anything to worry about any darkness any burden and they feel in their mind that they do they have a lot of things to work on and to work through but yeah like i say separation happened there is no intimacy with this person but i do feel like they want to come back around and dream again with you oh yeah for the new for the ace of cups vibration we got the ace of ones the two of cups and the seven of cups so i feel like it's definitely new energy new love new attraction could be with a fire sign or a fellow water sign or you know it could be th with this past person that's coming around to you but i deny that or i doubt that i doubt that i doubt it's with the past person honestly i honestly feel like this past person that i'm mentioning is not even in your energy space anymore it's like you've moved out they've dropped out of your vibration I re but but maybe they that's why i'm saying maybe they still think that you are somehow still there so when they show up they're going to be kind of shocked to find that there's so much empty space here where they where where they thought there would still be feelings you know um so i feel like you may already be attracted to someone else or you have a just fire energy in you maybe you want to get married or you're thinking of that or like interested in the possibility or maybe this person will try to change will somehow influence you or change your mind about what it is to commit to someone and to be married i don't know possibly but like i say you're in this page of swords vibration here too which i feel like you're comfortable maybe you're not letting anyone in your home in your space in your energy you're focusing on work on accomplishing your goals and that is what i have for you in this one i do hope you found some messages that inspire you and is able to help you on your journey if you did hit the like button share comment subscribe your support is abundantly appreciated all right so do show some support on your way out i'll see you in the next reading remember that you are all and all is within you take care bye